Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to do the charging speed test comparison between the POCO F3 GT versus Realme GT Neo 2 device. So both phones do have the 5000 mAh of battery capacity and 67 watt fast charging from the POCO F3 GT and 65 watt super power charger from the Realme GT Neo 2 device. Let's see friends which phone will be able to charge pretty faster while comparing both phones side by side. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So right now both phones are exactly uh, charged to one percentage only friends so right now need to connect the cables so i'll try to connect the cable just now so right now let me to connect i'm trying to use the default cables and default charges only at this moment of testing and right now both phones are plugged in and let me to switch on the power and you should be able to see the indication as well both phones indication one percentage the phones or both phones are starting with the charge you can clearly see with the one percentage I'm gonna be back after 10 minutes of time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes and 30 minutes. I'll try to write down the battery percentage and temperatures, what's going on. Between these both phones, which phone has got what type of speed as well, we'll try to uh, gather. And regarding the temperatures, you can clearly see if it's 29 degrees Celsius and slightly little bit kind of high in the Poco F3 GT. But I'm gonna be back after 10 minutes. Let's see which phone will be charging what kind of battery percentage after exactly 10 minutes of time. Right now, as you can see, friends, we did reach kind of close to 10 minutes of time as well. And 10 minutes continuously, both phones are charging at very good speed. And 35 degrees Celsius and 36 degrees Celsius, slightly high in the Realme GT Neo 2. But we'll try to take a look at the battery percentage, how much both phones charged. Right now, Realme GT Neo 2 charged about 39 percentage. You can clearly see, friends, what's going on. So 39 percentage in this device and 31 percentage in the Poco F3 GT device regarding the charging speed. So 31 and 39 and let's check the back side temperatures 33 degrees Celsius on the back side we're getting on the back side of this phone we're getting about 34.4 degree Celsius. So I'm going to be back friends after 20 minutes of time and meanwhile I'll try to record 50 percentage which phone actually charge fast. I think the Realme GT Neo 2 will definitely charge faster 50 percentage. I'm going to be back after some time. Right now as you can see friends exactly 20 minutes of time the Realme GT Neo 2 did charge to 71 percentage in this device and let's check in the Poco F3 GT how much it got charged. So it charged to 57 percentage, 57 and 71 percent as you can clearly see between these both phones 57 and 71. So let me to write down the readings. So Poco F3 is charging slightly slow, I am not sure why it is like that. So I am trying to use the default cable and charger only everything is default only 600 watts but still it is not charging that uh, pretty fast. So this is after the recent software update which I am trying to do this kind of uh, charging speed test and regarding the temperatures 36.8 degrees Celsius. That is on degrees Celsius. 37 and 36. You can see the temperature difference slightly kind of, but both phones are pretty close regarding the temperatures. I can be back after 30 minutes of time. Let's see. And 50% got charged in 18 minutes and 14 minutes of time in the Realme GT Neo 2. That's very, very fast in the GT Neo 2, considering this kind of battery capacity, 5000, but still. 14 minutes fantastic i'm gonna be back after 30 minutes of time right now as you can see friends finally we did reach up to uh, 30 minutes of time and the realme gt neo 2 is already charged to 94 percentage 94 in the realme gt neo 2 device and poco f3 gt let's see what's happening here poco f3 gt charged to exactly 79 percent as you can see friends 79 in the poco f3 little bit kind of slowed down after the recent update in the poco f3 gt i guess so in 30 minutes, the phone charger to 80% of the battery capacity. That's also not bad, I would say. So 94% in the Realme GT Neo 2 device. I can be back when the both phones gets kind of close to 99%. Then we can take a look exactly how much time it has been taken. So finally friends, around 35 minutes of time, the Realme GT Neo 2 did reach up to 99% of the battery capacity. And Poco F3 GT did reach up to 90% of the battery capacity. As you can see, 90% and 99%. The Poco F3 GT gonna take slightly more time than usual. That's something you should know about this device so let's see how much more time the Realme GT Neo 2 will take to charge complete under percentage so it should not take much time so usually it charges pretty fast so it, it should it should be able to charge within this 36 minutes of time I think that's what I'm guessing would be there so let's see friends so final friends around 37 minutes of time it completely charged like fully charged you can clearly see exactly 37 minutes of time the Realme GT Neo 2 took to charge completely it's not even showing any kind of charging indication you can clearly see friends 37 minutes and where is the poco f3 gt charger to 92 percentage of the battery capacity so 92 percent let me show you the exact charging animation as you can see 92 percentage in this device i cannot be back when the phone gets close to 99 percentage let's see how much corner time it's gonna take i cannot be back after some time 
and right now the final temperature is at 33.4 degrees celsius and 35.8 degrees celsius the final temperatures i can be back after some time about 45 minutes of time let me show you exactly what is the battery level at this moment it's of 99 percentage you can clearly see if it's 99 percentage so it's taking slightly more time but maybe because of the new update which the phone did receive i think that might be the reason why it's taking slightly more time than usual to charge so usually it takes about 43 and 44 minutes nothing much huge difference so just only three or four minutes extra we need to wait that's it right now it's 99 percentage this last one percentage will take a lot of time a lot of time to get that 100 percentage charged that's something you should know friends still at 99 and again i'll be back after some time when it gets to 100 percentage so final friends the phone did charge to complete 100 percentage around 48 minutes of time as you can see 48 minutes a complete 100 percent got charged so this is a quick charging speed test and thank you for watching this video friends it's a quick comparison and meanwhile signing off in case if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below this is after the recent update this is how the charging speed is between these devices meanwhile signing off friends until next video for more updates and bye